Well, this might seem like a bit of a tangent for my usual videos, but actually it relates to supercapacitors and putting a film of conductive crystals uh, on one surface such that it might expand when it dries and form a pressure for a cell. So anyway, the point of this is, a few years ago I bought this The Amazing Crystal Garden Grow Your Own Crystals box. It was uh, 3 95 it says on it. And inside you get a bag with a bunch of rocks in it and then you add some uh, vinegar, I use this cleaning vinegar here and you end up with uh, some quite nice crystal growth. Uh, this sort of thing here looks a bit like a coral reef. Um, I've used some food colouring, just a couple of drops and that ends up changing the whole colour of everything. Now where this gets pretty interesting for myself is you can do this without, well, without buying anything. These two top ones were from the box these other two aren't. This didn't turn out. This was um, iron ore from the Minnesota Iron Range. And that didn't turn out, but I didn't think it would either. That, though, is from some road construction in front of our house. They put down some rocks, and uh, I just I picked a couple up. And this one was actually from that, and the crystal growth is possibly the best of all all the three that worked. These certainly do work, though, so there's your, you know, your obvious for, for buying the real things. But these rocks themselves, I don't know, they uh, they seem to be only as good as the one out of the road. So maybe there's a tip there if you want to grow your own crystals. Well, another thought I had was, if they work from those out the front, what about a couple of stones that have been in the driveway uh, for many years? So I'm going to try that next. Alright. So, the theory is that just about any stone will work. So, I'm going to do walking out here into the backyard, into the driveway. Now, what have we got? Well, there we are. A couple of different types of stones. We'll grab them. I'll have that one. And we'll try those three and uh, do a little update after this bit of video to show what happened over the next few days. Here we are, another one as well of that time. Okay, let's put some vinegar on them. Alright, we've fast forwarded a couple of days now and they appear to have worked. This one hasn't, uh, hasn't very well at all, but uh, the other three appear to have crystal growth on them. I'm rather surprised and it's uh, it's worth looking at other rock types now and seeing if we can do something because also here is a cuttlefish bone and I was trying to make some chitin following Robert Murray Smith's work at one time uh, a couple of years ago and uh, I ended up with this growth going on all over and it made me think about possible repairs for, for bone problems in people and I don't know what but it was just very strange to see these this growth appear um, from the cuttlefish bone itself but I think the whole lot's related, it must have been an acidic mixture. Anyway, point being, the ones out of the, uh, the driveway there actually did work. Okay, thanks for watching.